In this section, we're going to create reusable screens to serve as control pop-ups for our pumps and our valves. In runtime, we will associate these pop-ups directly with the components so that we can control the components and test the fail status. So we can start our pumps, we can stop our pumps, we can test our fail. So let's get started. We're going to start by creating a new screen. We'll turn off the global effects and we'll set our geometry to 250, 275. And we'll save this as pump pop-up. So we'll create some labels. And we'll just color these appropriately. And then we need some buttons to test. So I use a Windows button. We'll set the label here to start. And this one will be And we'll turn our global color scheme to off and start will be red and stop will be green. And then I'll just duplicate these. And this is going to be a test button. So I can use my configuration dialog. Test, it's gonna be yellow. And then we'll need a reset button. I can also use my font text here to change that text. And we'll just kind of give it a blue color. And then we're going to put a close button down here. And I'll just change the text of that to close. And there's our pop-up screen. This pop-up screen is going to map to our color structure, so we need to add dynamics. We'll start with our on-off indicator. We're going to change both the text and color like we did on the face plates. So we'll start with color. Choose dynamic dialog. We're just gonna pick any one of these. It doesn't really matter. You'll see why in a moment. But this is going to be our pump on, so we'll do that, and we'll add a Boolean expression. So if the pump is on, background color is red, if it's off, it's green. And we're going to get rid of the prefix and only use the member name, which starts with a dot, so in this case, dot pump on. Now, when we do this and click OK, it's going to try to be helpful and say, hey, this tag doesn't exist. You're just going to click ignore. We'll do the same thing for the text. Choose dynamic dialog. So again, we'll just grab any color pump on tag. Set it to Boolean. If the tag is true, then the text will be on. And if it's false, it will be off. And then we're going to get rid of the tag. Click OK and ignore. For our start and stop buttons, we're going to use a direct connect. So we'll do a mouse, we'll do a release left, direct connect, and then we're just going to put the constant one, because it's the start button, directly into our tag, and we will just pick one of the colors, and you guessed it, we'll get rid of the prefix. We'll do the same thing for our stop button. And since it's a stop button, we will put a zero into the same tag. Pump on and get rid of the prefix. We'll do the same thing down here. So on our fail, make sure you go back to your properties dialog. We will go to our text attribute, do dynamic dialog. Choose our tag. 
So this is going to be fail, and it'll be Boolean. And if there's a one here, then it'll say fail. If there's not a one, let's just say okay. And of course, get rid of our prefix. Make sure you leave the single quote there. And we'll click ignore. We have to do the color. So we'll do a dynamic dialog. Get our pump fail. And we'll just choose a friendly color for the OK result and get rid of our prefix. For our test button, we'll do a direct connect. And we'll just put a one into the pump fail member. And then on the reset, we'll put a zero into the same tag. Finally, for our close button, we just want um, a nice big button to close the screen. So on release left, we'll do a direct connect and we'll put a zero and we're just going to choose current window display. That's the same thing as visible. So when the button is pressed, it will effectively make whatever picture window that's showing this screen turn off. And then we're going to save. Now we want to make a copy of this for the valve and then just change the appropriate texts. So we will do save as valve pop-up. So now we need to add dynamics to our valve pop-up. We need to change all of our pump tags to valve tags and then we have some text that need to be changed. We can use our linking tool to do search and replace to make this go a lot faster. So I'm just going to select every object on the page using Control A and then I'll put my cursor over one of the selected objects and choose linking tag connections. Now you can see that we have all the pump on tags. So I'll go to find and replace and just say find pump and replace it with valve. Now you got to make sure you spell it right and that the case is okay. I select these and do preview and then hit replace and then click OK. Then we'll just go change our texts. So, so we'll just change this label to valve and then it's going to be open or close. And then instead of start, that will be open. This will be close. And then we'll need to go to our text and change these here. And I think that does it, so we'll just hit save. Now we're going to go to the overview screen and we're going to use picture windows to add these pop-ups for our pumps and valves. I'll choose picture window and I will just put it here. I'm not going to worry too much about sizing it because we're going to adapt it. So I will drop the picture window and then on the properties dialog, I am going to set my movable and my title and I will do adapt size. Adapt size will make the picture window grow to accommodate whatever picture you show in it. And then for our title, this is going to be for our red valve. So we'll just put red valve here. We're going to set our picture name, so I'll just double click here. That is going to be our valve pop-up. Since this is going to look at our red structure, we will go to the tag prefix property and just put red. And we have to make sure we spell it right and make the correct case. And the way this works is any tag request coming from the page shown in this picture window will have this appended to it. So we'll have red and then we used dot pump on dot valve on things like that. So it creates the correct tag name. So let's just take a look at what that looks like and test this out. We'll hit save. 
we'll go to main, go to runtime, and we'll have to turn off our simulator so we can test this. And I'll reset my fail so it stops going, and then I can open and close my valve using my controls because these are talking directly to this valve. And then I can test my fail here and then hit reset and then close the window. So next we're going to duplicate that and we're going to make it so that when you click on the valve we can call that pop-up because you notice that I don't have a way to get it back once I close it. So we'll go back to our overview screen. We'll look at the name of this picture window. It's picture window one. We're going to change that because we're going to create six of these, one for each pump and valve. So I will just call this PW for picture window red valve window. I also noticed that we couldn't read the open and close labels very good, so we're going to change the font to white. So I'll go back to my valve pop-up here, and we'll just make it white. Hit save. We'll do the same thing on the pump, and then go back to overview. On the valve, we're going to use a direct connect to turn on the display of that picture window. So we'll just put a constant one, and since we gave it a good name, picture window, red valve window. We will just put a one into the display property. Then by default on here, we'll just turn off the display so it doesn't come up automatically. And notice that display is italicized. That's because a direct connect is now controlling that. Now we just have to duplicate this for each of our valves. We'll right click and do linking text. We will search for red replace with green, hit replace. So that changes our tag prefix and our title. It doesn't replace our object names. We'll have to go back and manually do that. So we'll just call this green, take the one off. And then we'll do the same thing to blue. Search for red, replace with blue. And then we will update the object name here and hit save. Then we'll go back to our valve, put our direct connects on to call the appropriate window. So that's the green valve. and the blue valve, and we'll hit save. Next, we'll duplicate one of these and put it near our pump. We'll change the object name, red pump window. And of course, we need to change the picture name to look at our pump pop-up. And then our title, we're gonna change that to pump. And we'll just save that and then duplicate it. In our object name, we also need to search and replace the texts. So I'll do linking texts. Search for red, replace with green, hit select, replace. I like blue. Search replace text. And replace. Save. Now we need to configure the direct connects. our green pump. And our blue pump. Now we'll just save. 
and then open our runtime window. We have to leave the page and come back. So I'll click here. I can reset my fail indicator. And then for my red pump, we can start it. We can fail it. And we can just test each of these out. And that's all there is to tag prefix.